We find that uh, most often uh, Minister of Finance people, the parliamentarians, really need some measure to actually uh, capture the value of vaccines um, in monetary terms uh, in order to compare with other interventions outside of the health sector. And one of the methodologies that we've used is to actually use a trade-off that people actually make between income and mortality risk. And uh, one of the analyses that we've completed actually looked at the benefits of vaccines across, across the decade of vaccines from uh, 2011 to 2020 for all 73 GAVI eligible countries um, and to across all the different 10 different vaccines to see what the actual impact is um, uh, to all these different countries um, by introducing and scaling up the coverage from vaccines. Um, at the GAVI Partners Forum uh, in December, 2012, and uh, we were actually called by the parliamentarians that were uh, there to actually present and have a separate session um, on talking about the value of vaccines. Um, and that came as a surprise, uh, but was a wonderful opportunity for us to disseminate our work and to find out whether or not the work is actually useful to them. Um, the uh, work that we do the, from the Decade of Vaccine Economics Program um, project uh, has also been used to motivate countries to introduce vaccines. For example, we had some uh, introduction uh, in Ghana and Nigeria that were based off of our work.